Veep is the word, is the word, is the... And here we are about to start a mission which takes place in the timeline of Thief and which might be called something that we can play, so let's just go. The lead from the abysmal gale has brought me here, to the captain's seaside mansion. Well, former captain. Omoira and most of his crew didn't survive their final voyage, but luckily for me, the ship's manifest did. It talked about a golden slab, which sounds like the compendium of reproach the keepers have been looking for. The log said Captain Moira brought it home for safekeeping. I doubt he knew what he had, probably just wanted it for the gold. My stolen rowboat got me here in one piece. Now I just have to find and steal the compendium. There's no way to know how many of the captain's loyal men are guarding the place, but the household will probably be in an uproar over the captain's death. With luck, no one will notice me sneaking around. The widow Moira might know where her late husband kept his treasures. Maybe I'll start by paying her a little visit. When Garrett says Omoira, it sounds like he misread it and thought that the guy's name was Omoira. Like, ah, I'm Omoira. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways, yes. Incidentally, this mission also contains one of my favorite conversations in the game. So that's one thing to look forward to because there's nothing else to look forward to. To act out of anger risks needless destruction, but to act out of affection risks needless charity. Boy, I hate those needless charities. Those are just people on the street begging who have leprosy and cancer and whose kids are dead and they've come back as zombies and are trying to murder them. Those people, don't give to those people. They don't deserve your hard-earned cash. Spend it at getting a Starbucks instead. You'll be glad you did. So, <laughs> this is... This is this, this. It's the Overlook Mansion, and there are a couple of completely different ways in. I guess I'll decide when I get up here for some reason. And this is the boathouse near his mansion that he had to explain to his wife, and hilariously, it didn't tell us exactly how he explained it to his wife. So, it's a quite exciting ride up, as you can well imagine. Quite, uh, quite unnecessarily charitable. For some reason, there was a keeper quote in this mission. I guess an expert. There's a guy there. I don't think he's there on normal, but you can see a shadow on the wall. That's making it a cool little wrinkle in time and, and so forth. But, uh, you know, <coughs> I'm obviously going to knock him out because that's just kind of what I do. And uh, there's something amazing about this part that we'll be finding out later. And if I even remember to say it, which... Let's be honest, I might not. Hours to go on this shift. Yeah, hours to go. Oh, except maybe I'll just leave him, him be. Because, let's be honest, he's not that much of a challenge. It's your turn already. I know, I know, let me just think. I'm waiting. Don't rush me, I'm about to go. Listen, it's not that hard. Look, you're showing pelicans and mackerels, right? Just play them in order, and you'll have at least two. Oh, Burricks. What? What's wrong? You just won. I just won for you. Ha ha! Pay up, Mortimer! What did I win? <laughs> and he stands up on his chair like a silly ass. <laughs> okay, I love that conversation too, but that is not the one that is one of my favorites. Although I guess it is one of my favorites, but not the one that I gave the name one of my favorites to. It's a very complicated nuance of language, you understand. <clears throat> you know what? I thought that guy didn't get up and walk away, but hey, him making it easier is not something I'm going to complain about. Hmm, a flash bomb, eh? Fair enough, I suppose. Are these, like, little hey, coins on the who was that? table or something? Or are they just dead? Well, they're not glinting. Come on. Right then. Bloody hell. Except oh, they boys. are... So, <laughs> hey, great job, wow. Okay. Beware, for even the simple act of desiring to become can corrupt that which will be. These guys are not into ambition or, like, anything that you'd enjoy in life in any way, shape, or form. They are the ultimate sacrificers for the sake of everybody else's enjoyment, I suppose. Pretty harsh friggin' job, man. Okay. See if I can't hide behind the pillar. He's probably gonna be like, her. 
It's gone away. It's gone into game design. And so on and so forth. That that's that's what you sing. Wow, somebody was shooting the table. I guess they're a pretty good shot shooting the table edge, unless they were doing it just from right up close. <laughs> they could have. Uh, this is the mission that I remember there being a lot of uh, arrow kills where they fall over in a silly backwards position. Like, I'm not allowed to kill because it's expert probably, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Come on. Nope. Alright, well anyway. Sometimes a waste of healing potion for one healing. Sounds legit. This is a weird pile of rock. I don't remember being here. How odd. Be funny if they changed the rocks on difficulties, but no, of course he didn't. That'd be silly. Anyways, on normal, I used to kill these guys for some freaking reason. I guess I was like, oh, there's multiple guys and they're walking. That's hard. Oh, Scott Pilgrim. But it's hard. All right, well. Wow. Not even a first. I am the best. Now, I could climb up some place. I think it might be over there and get in that way. And uh, since I kind of don't usually do that, I think I've done it once. I guess I'll try doing it this time. But I don't have any cheapy cheap invis potions, so I actually kind of have to get over there. And it's actually going to be kind of tricky. Because for some reason, I've decided not to knock out people in this mission. I don't know why, but... Okay, okay, carefully now. A minute. <laughs> 30 seconds? You want me to wait 30 seconds? I don't think so, buckarooster. I don't think so. You there, turn around. Oh, well, you know, converse, go and make out. I don't care, man. This is 2013, and I'm not one of those ancient politicians who think that it's a good thing to be wasting incredible amounts of actual taxpayers' money, probably, fighting an issue that they know they're going to lose anyway. What was that sound effect? I don't know. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is... This is not even the right place, is it? <sighs> and now, back to, uh... Silly time. So, okay. Perhaps I need to be climbing... This wall. Apparently so. Well, I guess that other building is just to say, Ha, 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 ha. You cannot get into me. Come on. How the hell did I... Oh, yeah, you press... You let go forward and then you press forward again. That makes a lot of sense with the way you normally control Thief, right? Who boy, except... What the hell am I even doing up here? Should I be lowered down or should I climb even further? I don't remember, man. Do I look like an expert at Thief 3? I'm an expert at clipping my fingers through bricks. I guess it's supposed to be him just putting his fingers into the cracks, but no. This isn't at all what you do. How odd. I mean, for real. Hang on. Something... Something isn't right here. I think it is over there. The struggles of the city mirror the ebb and flow of the great waters. No tide must ever be allowed to advance unchecked from the eight principles of we the people <laughs> well you know the tree branch shall light ye the way and burn as if a bush because miracles kind of exist in subtle ways that are much too subtle for most people to care and that's do you see it not so loud living there no it's not in this room either and we're almost done with the upper floor if you were the Widow Moira, where would you keep your late husband's telescope? We won't get anything out of the Widow, my precious. I've just had a peek at her. She's up on the roof raving, and she didn't know me from a field mouse. I didn't mean... I know, darling. The question is more probably, where did the late Captain Moira put it? He wouldn't leave the Nereid telescope just lying around. Bryce, we're doing the right thing, aren't we? I mean, its beauty is wasted on the Widow Moira. She doesn't appreciate the finer things. Well, it's right for us, sweetness, but as an officer of the City Watch, I must confess it's probably not doing right by the Widow. Scoundrel of the City Watch, you mean? 
Looks like the widow Moira has more than just me to worry about tonight. <laughs> I love that guy's voice. Also, this is what can happen when voice actors are not given proper context for their lines or whatever. The guy says, Officer of the City Watch. Her intonation or whatever should be Scoundrel of the City Watch. But instead she says, Scoundrel of the City Watch. That That's totally bad. This game sucks. Anyways, yeah. So, now I'm in here. You could also go in through the front door and you could come way out here. Oh, shit! Didn't even realize. Holy crap, he didn't even see me. <laughs> Lucky. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy out, though, because. <laughs> yes. yes, indeed. That is what you're doing. Look at my item there, it's kind of in jail. How unfortunate. Uh. Hmm. Just, I don't know if Mrs. Watch, City Watch, is gonna come over here. I guess that. That guy didn't bother stealing that purse, or he just put his purse there, because back in the day, men could have purses, and it was pretty great, and you didn't have to call them your man purse, or your man shoulder bag with pink stars on it, or your man everything, because seriously, I didn't gay park my car today. Also, you can put out these candles, and if you throw them again, you pick them up, but I'm not going to do that because it just makes too much freaking noise, because... Putting down items in this game is one of the great failings of this engine, I rather, rather would like to say. So, I think I was saying something fascinating, oops, before uh, entering the door, but then I had to listen to a conversation and I don't remember what it was. Oh yes, S grants us our small miracles, lets us live another day. Yes, that's why I'm constantly super lucky and fortunate all the time. And and, 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 yeah, or maybe I'm just fooling myself and really, I'm actually just living a dream. Which sounds like a pretty good thing after all, but, yeah. Maybe I have a different idea of luck and fortune, uh -oh. then... Somebody block off the hallway! He's Shut here. up! Yeah, that's right. You know, some people, a little, tiny little thing happens to them and they think it's a horrible thing, but me, I'm just like, oh man, this is one step on the road towards even greaterness. So, I don't know. Some people think that that's not what you do, but I say whatever works. Freaking works for me, for serious. Okay, now I do like the lighting here, so I don't like to put out lights hey? just for no reason. Hey? Oh, well, you're Canadian, so I guess I'll try to leave you alive. <laughs> Queer noise, but not my concern. Queer noise, eh? That's rather offensive, I should say. Probably, except maybe not. These, this frog distance is just really weird on the doors in this game. I don't know. Tuesday. He. Who, who is saying this? Like a... Hmm. Tuesday. I thought he'd never leave. I'd never curse the weather so much. Almost done checking the upper floors. No sign of the captain's secret. Saturday. Got the news about the abysmal gale today. Good riddance is what I say. The captain ain't never did me no favors, else why am I still working like a dog, still with an upper-class accent for some reason. I guess Ginny will have to break the news to Mrs. Moira, but if she chickens out, I'll do it, and gladly. Wednesday. With so many house guests about, I can't look for no secret room or anything. I gotta go on pretending to be lapdog standish. Get it, dog dish? Oh, somewhere the captain's ghost is laughing at me. If there ain't no treasure, I'll make off with that fine silver mirror in the widow's bathroom. She's in no state to miss it. Terrible punctuation. But I guess he's a lapdog standish, so that's a great servant name, standish. I don't know. <laughs> and, yeah, I thought he was going to make off with some fine uh, person of the female persuasion. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not R&B music. Now, though... It must be so fun to do snoring. Or, like, other silly sounds in your voice acting. It must be the funnest thing. You just get to let loose and be silly. I think this whole book's getting a bit silly, to be honest. Oh, great. I have to go around the chairs. Fantastic! But now, since... You know what? Since my map is, like, only semi-functional, it basically doesn't even <laughs> exist. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna have to sneak through these rooms all the freaking time instead of running through them when I wish to find more loot and stuff, as I almost certainly shall, given this game's expertness. That guy's just creepy in statement. Quick look, okay, nothing. Oh, but what ho? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. 
That's some good chest placement. That's what happens when you... When you want me to get in front of a chest automatically when I frob it. That's... Com <laughs> That's so silly. Is that a noise of some sort? If you're gonna put a chest in the corner, you might wanna... Some rugs. It's quite too noisy. You might wanna... Odd noise. <laughs> You might want to make it unlocked, is what I'm saying. Uh. A ruby ring. And pearls for my ears. Well, well. Looks like somebody's into fashion. How amazing. I don't know. It's pretty good. Not wrong with being into fashion. You know, I used to think that anybody who was into fashion was all like, Oh, look how shallow they are. But then I realized that's a horrible viewpoint that, you know, I mean doesn't respect people that actually just like the beauty sort of idea and aren't doing it because they're insecure and, you know, want to look beautiful to cover up that, but actually are just interested in it. There's people like that, and I'm like, man, I just gotta, you gotta be like, yeah, that's cool. At least, maybe you don't gotta, but you might want to, but you might not. I never know what this weird glove-looking thing is pointing pointing out the screen. Like, it looks like it's got fingers, but... I guess it's his glove. What a weird thing to poke out there. Yes, indeed. So this is just basically a series of rooms. <laughs> it's, uh... It's sort of the version 2.0 of the series of tubes, but that's not even funny because it's old. Old people are never, ever funny. That's why you never see them being made fun of in comedy by young punks. Pops, probably. Curtis of Journal, page 38. I'd give my notice if it weren't for the widow. They'll rob her blind if I'm not around to stop it. As it is, I can't be everywhere at once, but heaven help the ones I catch. Have to face it, she's not in her right mind. This morning she handed me some old coin as a tip. It was the captain's lucky coin and 200 years old if it was a day. She must have got into his old things, the poor dear. But if I give it back, she'll just give it to Standish. I'll bring it to the library and see if I can research what it's worth. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a fortune falling upon you if I ever saw one. Is this, uh, no, this isn't. One of these doors might be a bathroom at some point. I don't know if it's this one. No, but it is a closet. Okay, loud piano. Hush now, quiet now. Time to lay your sleepy heads a horse now. All right, fun as that is, let's be quiet all. But really, is that actually it for this level? I, I could swear there was a bathroom at some point. Hmm, I obviously wish to go into a lady's bathroom as there only seem to be ladies up here, but uh, the ladies' dormitories are quite fanciful as compared to other dormitories. So I could go down the stairs. I guess this portrait is worth something, but that other one, which is exactly the same, isn't. I guess that's fine, because one of them's a fake or a copy, but I don't know how Garrett would recognize such a thing, but uh... Oh. Oh, so there's a whole other freaking level. So yeah, I could go in those loading zones there, but uh... I kind of want to go here for some reason, because I don't even remember where this is, so I just kind of want to go places. And that's not a book I can read. How terrible. That means libraries really are just for sh really are just for show. Well, I almost enunciated badly there. Be be get it? Because, because all the books are closed, so they have no text in them except for the one or two that are open. It's, it's a joke! Based on that one room in the th 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 one! Okay. Alright, well you've got a nice slow circling route. Uh-oh. The lady's going to be awful mad when she hears that's missing. <laughs> it's funny how they have to react in a generic way and call things that and this. It makes it a little bit awkward. Is someone there? I just finished sweeping up around here, you know? But, uh, yeah, can't do anything about that. Although guards go, oh, that chair it must be by those crates. And there's such things, so... So, yes, let's just slip through this door, and, uh... Oh, yeah, this is the entrance level. Yeah, that's right. Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything up that side, but if I did... To land. Uh, whoa. 
I said, what you can't against pillars? So Shit. <gasps> you dumb. Is. I want to my back against that, but that would that would be cool because then they'd be all walking around me and I'd just be like all the freaking time and unfing all the live long day. It's a weird term. <laughs> hey, observation. There are too many dudes here. Oh yeah. Oh 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 yeah. They took off their shirt. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's like three. Wow. <laughs> okay, that guy's having a difficult time opening a door. Or going through a door that he has opened or closing it maybe. That that's really dumb looking, so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take the opportunity to constantly not know what to do. I don't talk about other things in the game enough. Seriously, my commentary is just like, <laughs> except it isn't because can't. you can't have the top 40 without the non-top 40. If you catch somebody else's drift, oh, I'm walking slightly, deliberately, and slowly to be scary. I was trained to be this way by the guard training. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. Receipt for cargo ship Abysmal Gale. Captain Mara for his regular due 40 parts per hull to bring up to his house the Overlook Mansion. One flask whale oil. What is this dishonored? Oh, 100 haddocks on salt. One gold slab with a strange bit of writ on it that could now be broken parts so Captain M agrees to take less split on other hull. Four woven baskets, three bottles of good brandy. Oh, you spell the alcohol right, don't you? Duly signed and approved by Amias Doolittle. <laughs> Docker's assistant. They wrote Dooley and they thought it was so funny that they couldn't resist writing Duel again. Choose your duel. Amazingly exciting. Anyone that gets the game that both of those references came from will get my serious respect because, uh... It's, it's pretty funny. And you don't count, Josiah. So this is the front door, one would assume. Yeah, I, I must assume such and so. Yes, that's, that's another. Yeah, I was totally turned around and thought I was in a totally different place than I actually was. But before going in through that loading zone of awesomeness, I'm going to go here because this is one more place out here that I can go to. And I think you can't knock guys out when they're sitting down. But I also thought there was a book around here, but... Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Pretty weird. But, there should be like... A coin or something in the library. If that text was right. But... It might not have been. No, there it is right freaking there. <laughs> okay, I thought I remembered having like an incredibly difficult time finding it, but... That can't have been the case, because I just found it just now, so, okay. I guess that's all that's here. Weird. It's a library, you'd think there'd be at least one book, but that's readable, that is, but no. And that's it for this episode, which has run over long-ish again. So, uh, next time, I shall go through, not this way, but rather over here, through the anchor door. And we'll get to see the anchor museum, so get hyped! Oh, yeah. And now I'm going to play some more antechamber because seriously, antechamber. See you guys later. Thanks for watching and bye for now, y'all.